Right, so let's try this properly, shall we? Uh, we got 2004 AMG ZR. That side skirt fell off as one on the other side, you'll notice that. Smashing wee car, 17 inch alloys, both front and rear. MG straights, decent wheels. That's been on fire, that's why it's a bit. I, I was uh, driving back from my mate's farm one day. This wheel started going cool, there's actually flames coming off the brake pads because uh, it jammed on. That's why it's sort of goldy. If you look on the off side, just uh, here you can see that ends a lot more silver. Yeah. You can see it's got a side skirt on it as well, it's a lot better. See if I can avoid getting knocked down. It's a lot better with the side skirt. I hope the side skirt fell off. Um, the, they're bolted on at the back and riveted along the bottom rivets fell out, so it looks kind of shite there. But cool, that was a good look at it. Try to sit down on fire and get a difference. Side tint, right? But there's no back tint. But did they do the tint? No, I don't know. Nice tone off the exhaust. It rubs in the. You can hear it there it's rubbing a wee bit. Do that. It stops because it's rubbing in the fucking back it. Stink of diesel exhaust, man. I uh, put the lights on so you can see the wee hang. Looks so much better at night. It really does. Video can't do it justice, genuinely. But yeah, we better rush through it, but it's not bad, it's actually pretty decent neck. Archies mainly, back there, a bit in the bottom there, a bit in the front arches as well, but it's way better than the Supras. Uh, anime stickers, of course, <laughs> of course. I de wipered it because of my travel like that. Yeah, but, uh, came with a gay thunder cat stuck on the bag, so I'll see the remains of it. Can you? I can, I'm not sure you can see in the, in the video or no. Uh, I took that off, it's been debadged a long, long time ago. It looked really clean and debadged. Uh, got fucking the shoulder thing at the front. Do do do. Facelift model. Six forward facing lights. Looks fucking magic. I jump inside because it's raining pretty heavily. It is filthy, of course. Anime playing, anime tunes, can't go wrong with that. It's uh, missing half the shit the door cards. Ugh, sit down. Whoa. 142,000 miles or so. I bought it with 136 I think, so I put quite a lot of miles on it in a short period of time. Uh, center stack there. It's not a bad looking center stack that. No really at all, based on the lights are. Uh, that's half the market. There's a clock in there normally, but hey, it's a, a nice nice uh, replacement I reckon. Uh, the rear view mirror's all the way back there, it's like, whoa, hold on. Yeah, it's nowhere near the front. It's expected to be there, but it's not. The, no, the rear view mirror. Oops. No, the fucking rear view mirror. Focus. Focus. This isn't a fixed focus. This might want a fixed focus. Oh well. Hang on a second. Right, that seems a bit fixed. I think I put it on a fixed focus by accident now. But anyway, yeah, I've still got a speaker grill on that side. Uh, both uh, handles are held on with uh, electrical tape because, well, they fall off because of poor build quality basically. There's been Donald Monopoly stuff in there, iPod from Anime Tunes. Half a can of coke's been there for a few weeks. Uh, handbrake. Best leave that on on a hill. <laughs> yeah, the chrome's plate tough there, but again, kind of old cars. This comes right half a wee bit of uh, <clears throat> Nope, maybe no. Get stuck on for a change, but normally it comes right off with uh, a very small amount of effort. Sticks to itself apparently. Uh, can, can I get this? There we go. Show the back seat. It's quite a small black back seat. There's a wee ducket for your arm there. There's actually cup holders on the side there. This car has a uh, uh, five cup holders in the front and two in the back. It's like proper American spec. See back there, they have got household speakers jammed in because I bought this. Didn't have any real speakers. We did have wires lying around, so I just um, put some speakers at a charity shop for two pounds. Put one there and one on the other side there, and they work really well. It's amazing. Tracking me more of this. Genuinely love it. Um, if I can find my, it's down now. This thing. I'll set it up and I'll do a quick drive around and you can see, you know, how slow it really is because it claims to have on 15 horsepower, I'm not sure it does. It's really, really slow, but it is a 2 litre diesel. Sounds quite good when you rev it up. Probably shouldn't do that, the guy's house right there, I don't even know who it is. I'm parked next to the railway because uh, where we're normally going to go, they're doing the front, there's a few gypsies and I don't fancy like walking around my car holding my phone when the gypsies are about because they'll probably rape me. Uh, but aye, I'll set up my fucking phone, do do like you know this hanging and I'll do a wee spinner in the block. String it all together, I'll call it a video. Right, let's see how this works. No idea if you can still hear me or not, but I'll get behind me up to the 
leaving. Oh, it's um, not parcel, it's Yodel. It's like one of the deliver, multi drop delivery drivers. Those poor bastards, man. I was offered a job doing that, turned it down because you're gonna have to like supply your own fuel and all that. At that point, it's not even a fucking job, is it? It's just you paying to drive around. Fucking ridiculous. Right, uh, so we're gonna avoid the main road, shall we? Some interesting stuff down here. Uh, to my right, which you probably can't see, even though you can, nah, you can't really. There's a uh, military, like, uh, they do like plant hire, but they also sell military vehicles. So you can buy, like, Land Rover Wolves and armored cars and all that kind of stuff off them. Uh, AF, AF Ross and Sons. I've, no, I've never been in. Obviously, I can't afford military vehicles, but. It's, it's cool shit, man. Yeah, this is this is something that's not like all fancy motors. They're welders, and there's big money in welding, obviously. But I'm not like the kind of welder like I am, where I weld a whole shit box motors to hopefully get back on the road eventually. It's more like uh, industrial welding, like welding up uh, like buildings and stuff. You know, that sort of gay shit. Ah, just swing back up here. I did say I was going to try and avoid the main road, but I figured it would make more sense to just go to the main road. I'm going to go to um, Sally's Mini Mart. I haven't seen my streams before, but I've seen one in the Sally before. Uh, it's a shite wee hanger run by a guy called Tony. I assume it's his real name, he's Pakistani, but uh, it's a good guy. He does, um, they have a good selection of energy juice. I'm gonna get myself some uh, Clementine Monster! Yeah! Man, this thing's slow. Genuinely, like, you start like trying to explain to folk how slow it is, it's hard to say. But uh, it's slow. It's, really, it's, it's slow. Just trust me in that. I don't know. Let's see if I can get some speed up in the. Ah, fucking transit in the way. Should I try and get some speed up there? Yeah, right. I probably shouldn't. My front tyres are basically gone. I think they're like one. I think they're like not point one millimetres over the legal limit. And I get the hairpin and I always put the Supra and stick it on this and then run my DZ to the Supra, I think, because the Supra is. Centre ball skews, need DZ to get spigot rings in them, but they bring, I had to bring them down to fit this. So I'm thinking about just using the Zens. I can then just throw them in the Supra, Joe Blood. Hope you're on cold fires, you're on hand. You can then throw the Supra around. What be a slide of the day? These roads are atrocious, man. Don't say they're great roads. I mean, they're fun. I don't know, I don't know why. They are fun roads, but my god, are they fucking poorly maintained. I feel like uh, they've just sort of shit tarmac onto goat tracks half the time. Oh, is that a big beam there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw it there. It's, it's like an eye beam directly up. That's there because uh, a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago, uh, it's coming down this road the other way. There's a lorry in front of me carrying a wind turbine. I'd done the really long, you know, where it was like uh, two trailers separate, you get the turbine bit in the middle. Right. But the back half's got steer axles on it, steers round, smash that guy's fence in. And then like a week later he put that fucking I beam there, so next time something does it'll just fucking wreck a trailer. I'd probably do the same one, so I'd be quite annoyed. That's a uh, housed and farm in there, just on the left. Uh, when I was a wee boy, I spent a lot of time there. My mate lived there. His dad had a Saab 900. No, sorry, a Saab 95 Aero. I would later own a 95 Aero. His was a 6 speed manual and mine was a fucking 4 speed automatic. And the state of his dad was a fucking saloon. Lovely cars, Saab. I, I, I love them, man. They're so good. Right, uh, here on the right is a gypsy cam. Where they normally are, they're not there right now, they're in the front. Okay, this is all getting refurbished or some shit. I actually don't know what's going on up there. They're doing something. I don't know what, but they're doing something. But it used to be the gypsy cam, I don't think it is anymore because they've moved them on. It's kind of annoying. Uh, that's the school for spastics. Uh, it's like a disabled way inside. Uh, used to be like a sports field with the, uh, the academy behind it, but. When I, was, when I was away, and I went to the academy and it was uh, a sports field and I used to go there with my mates and smoke, uh, smoke tobacco and weed later on. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd have never smoked in my life, I'd have to admit that. I'm proud of that and don't smoke, never have, never will. Well, I have the old cigar, but that doesn't count. But, like, habitually I don't smoke. Uh, not a fan of the taste, honestly. Cigars taste alright, I couldn't afford to have a cigar if I would have it though. So we'll maintain that a wee bit. Uh, he's sort of rambling into it. It's supposed to be a road test. The 
it's just a case of, well, it's, uh, it's a bit bumpy, as expected. It's a bit rattly, as expected. It's about it, really, isn't it? It's a fucking, it's a 15 year old Rover with 42,019 miles on it. Of course, it's fucking rattly and bouncy. Give her up the scheme. A lot of junkies about here. A lot of junkies. Uh, my mate, fucking, oh, well, I was gonna say my mate, I don't know his name. My mate, a friend of a friend lives in there. See that there? That uh, Audi? Uh, it's his car, it's a B6 Passat, and it's, this is alright, no, not a Passat, sorry, an A6, it's a Passat. Nice enough motor, but it's, uh, what do you call it, uh, it's generic. I think I'll end it there and go get my fucking uh, Clementine Monster. 2 a day, eh?